If you are starting from absolutely nothing and you wanna finish your very first half marathon in as little time as possible, with as little training as possible, stick around because I am going to give you a couch to half marathon training program that has just two runs per week and will get you ready to finish your race guaranteed in just 16 weeks. I'm going to pause once all of the workouts are revealed so you can take screenshots of all of this for free and use this training plan if you want. So don't feel like you need to write this down, but we're going to reveal this week by week so you can follow along. So what I've laid out here is a 16 week training plan. You can see the weeks on the side and you can see Monday through Sunday on the top. I'm going to reveal all of the rest days first so that you can see when we are going to do those days. Those are going to be Monday and Tuesday. Thursday and Friday are also going to be rest days. And then Sunday is also going to be a rest day. This is going to end in week 16, at which point you should have your race weekend. It can be on either Saturday or Sunday, doesn't really matter. So we really only have two runs per week on Wednesday and Saturday. And this training plan is going to be broke into two parts. Weeks one through eight are going to teach you how to run, building up your ability to run for a long period of time. And then weeks nine through to 16, all the way to the end is going to be more race specific training, getting you ready to actually run that race. So let's start diving into it. And we'll reveal all of the first eight weeks of the build up running workouts because these are very similar to any other couch to 5k workout that you've done with a little bit of a twist. What I want you to do is make these runs for the first eight weeks, 30 minutes total. And how I want you to build them up is by starting in week one with two minutes of easy walk or jog and then run for as long as you can. So maybe that's 15 seconds, Probably for most people who are just starting out, it's gonna be somewhere in between about 30 seconds and three, four minutes or so. But what I want you to do is start with that two minutes of easy walking or jogging. And then every single week, take off 15 seconds from that easy walk or jog. And then with the run portion, add 15 seconds to the run portion. So I'll just use one example here so you really get what I'm showing. So let's say in week one, you're able to run for two minutes. Well, you're going to start with an easy walk or jog for two minutes and then run continuously for two minutes. And here's how it'll build up. With that week two, you're going to run two minutes and 15 seconds during the run portion, two minutes and 30 seconds in week three, two minutes and 45 seconds. And you can see that we just add on 15 seconds every single week to the running portion and we take off 15 seconds per week of the easy walk jog portion. Basically, no matter how much running you are starting with at the start of this, you're gonna build up to the point where at week eight, you are running far more than you are walking. But I'm gonna put a little bit of a spin on this workout from most of the couch to 5K, 10K, half marathon training plans out there. In all of these workouts, when you start the running portion, I want you to start by working on your run technique and you'll do so by stopping, hopping up and down in place, doing some butt kicks, and then when you start to run, lean forward from the ankles and continue to run, landing where you run in your first few steps as you take that lean forward. What this is going to do is it's going to train your body to land underneath your center of gravity. And this is going to build a really nice, efficient run technique. Let's move on to the weekend where we're going to reveal those first eight weeks of workouts. What we're going to do in this workout is build up your endurance, but instead of just getting you out there and saying run continuously for a specific period of time when you really don't know how to run, we're gonna turn this into a hike kind of run. So go out and find some trails. They don't need to be really, really gnarly trails. The gnarlier the better, but something that's convenient for you. And why I want you to do this is it's just building up time on your feet. When you go out onto these trails and you do this hike, I want this workout to be structured in such a way that you are working fairly hard. 
If you're just walking, I want you to get to the point that you are breathing really heavy, you're working really hard. This is going to get your heart rate up and it's going to get used to having that endurance of being at a nice high heart rate for a really long period of time while you're on your feet. So we're gonna build that up from 25 minutes total just to 27 and a half minutes the next week, 30 minutes, 32 and a half, 37 and a half, 40 minutes, 42 and a half minutes, and by the end, 45 total minutes of time on your feet. In addition to this, what I want you to do in this workout is at the very end of this workout, do a super easy jog to end the workout. And however long you think that you can do that jog for, that's how long you should do that jog for. So if you can only jog for two or three minutes continuously at the very end of this, do that. And then what I want you to do is add on two minutes to the end jog portion of that workout every single week. So let's say we're starting with two minutes of easy jogging at the end of this. In week two, you're gonna do four minutes, then six minutes in week three, then eight minutes in week four, 10, 12, 14, and 16 minutes of easy jogging at the end. Why this is such an effective training method is because it's training us to be able to run while we're tired. It's training us to have that endurance that we're still able to run at the very end of a specific time on our feet so that we build that run durability that we need at the end of a half marathon. So by this point at week eight, you will have built up the endurance to run continuously for probably around 40 to 45 minutes and you will have done it with building good run technique. So now let's get into the specific training plan for a half marathon portion of this program. So I've scrolled down now to weeks nine through 16. And this is where the training plan is going to get a little bit more specific and start preparing us specifically for the needs of a half marathon. And what the needs are, are we need to be able to have the endurance to run the distance and we need to run it moderately fast. Now, of course, just running twice per week and going from nothing to a half marathon in 16 weeks is really tight. You're not going to be setting personal best. You're probably even going to have to walk a little bit during the race, but that's okay. This training plan is about just getting you to that first race with the confidence to know that you are absolutely going to finish. So we need to build up the endurance, and a little bit of the speed so that you can challenge yourself a little bit on race day. So let's start by revealing what you're going to do on Wednesday. And that is going to be the intense run, the more interval focused run. This is building up more of the speed. So this one is going to be a little bit challenging here. This is going to feel like a workout. We're going to step it up from 30 minutes during the learn to run portion of the training plan up to 40 minutes in week one. And then we're going to build that up from 40 minutes to 45, 49, down to 30 for a rest week, up to 50 minutes and then 48, 51. We're gonna hover around that 50 minute mark. And this workout is going to be your interval workout where we're going back and forth between fast running and then easier running and rest periods. So for example, in week nine, we're going to do two minutes of walking or easy jogging and then two minutes fast. And when I say fast, there's no specific pace that you need to hit because you're just starting out, you just need to push yourself. Whatever feels like fast, hey, that's fast enough. Then we're going to build that up where the next week we are going to do two minutes of easy walking or jogging and then three minutes fast. And then the third week, three minutes of walking or easy jogging and then four minutes fast. Week 12 is going to be a rest week here where we're going to go back down to just a 30 minute run. And we're going to do that as 15 seconds sprint, four minutes of easy walking or jogging. So there isn't going to be a lot of work in this workout, but we're just going to remind the body of how to run fairly fast. Now we're going to get into weeks 13 through 15, and this is going to be more tempo focused. So while the intervals are still going to be faster, they're probably going to be a little bit slower because we're looking at 10, 12, 15 minute intervals here. So these don't have to be fast, they just need to be faster, steady-ish, kind of moderate, six or seven out of 10 level kind of running. So we're going to have a 48 minute run in week 13, another 48 minute run in week 14. We're going to have a 54 minute run in week 15, and it's going to go in week 13, 
two minutes of easy walking or jogging, 12 minutes moderate effort. Week 14 is going to be four minutes of easy walking or jogging, 12 minutes of moderate effort. And then in week 15, we are going to have three minutes of easy walking or jogging, 15 minutes of moderate effort. And then in week 16, we're going to get into a taper where it should be a little bit more rest focused, but we don't want to completely rest. We want to still remind the body how to move quickly. So we're going to do that same workout that we did in week 12, where it's just 30 minutes with 15 second sprints, just to keep the body alive, remind it that it doesn't need to get stale during the taper period. On the Saturday long run, that's where we're going to build up the endurance. And we're going to change it from a hike, which we did in the first eight weeks, to a continuous easy jog. This can be on trails, this can be on paved roads, this can be on anything, but the goal of this is to make this a continuous, very easy jog. This is low intensity. And that low intensity is going to allow you to quickly build up your endurance. Because you're not out there pounding the pavement really hard, you're not gonna get beat up. You're also not going to be intimidated by it. Go as slow as you need to, to stay moving and stay running or easy jogging for 45 minutes in week nine, 55 minutes in week 10, 65 minutes in week 11. In week 12, we're gonna go down to a rest week of 45 minutes. Then in week 13, 14, and 15, we're gonna build up from 75 all the way up to 95 minutes of very easy continuous jogging. Now I'm gonna scroll back up and you can take a screenshot of these while I talk about this so that you have these training plans. What we're trying to do here in weeks one through eight is we are making sure that you are running well, that you're running efficiently with good technique, that you're slowly building up your endurance to be able to get ready to start a more structured training program. In doing that, we're going to then move into the second phase where we are doing a training plan that is specifically built to prepare you for a half marathon. You can take a screenshot of this as well while I'm talking about it. By building up the long run to the point where it's 95 minutes, hey, you're probably not completing 21.1 kilometers or 13.1 miles at that point, but I guarantee you that if you are running 95 minutes at the end of this 15 week period, the next week you are going to be able to step up to a half marathon. And likewise, if you are building up from two minute fast intervals all the way up to 15 minutes of steady, slightly challenging running and doing that three times throughout a workout, you're going to be able to challenge yourself a little bit in that half marathon. Now, of course, this is a very minimal training plan and it's a very generic training plan. If you want something that is customized for you and you want it completely for free, go to mymotive.com where you can use our training app and set up a half marathon training plan for as long as you want with as many workouts as you want, including all the nutrition that you need every single workout, all the strength training, mobility training, all of the intervals and the paces that you need to hit. It'll be much more customized to you. But if you just wanna start out with as little training as possible, this will get you there. And finally, click the video that's on the screen right now. If you get into that race, you wanna make sure that your nutrition is dialed in. This video is going to explain what you should eat and drink during that half marathon to make sure that your nutrition is set up properly so that you can have a great race day. Later motivators.